Google is dropping the Qualcomm chip for the launch of its Pixel 6 flagship phone in October 2021. The new Google Tensor, a system-on-chip SOC, also known as Whitechapel internally, could be used in their Chromebooks later. Samsung has been reported to be co-developing this Google Silicon 101 chip with Google for some time. They also announced their partnership at the Google Iowa keynote in May 2021. Google will combine its Wear OS with Samsung's Tizen, and they will provide a new health and fitness service through Google-owned Fitbit. This aligns with Google CEO's comment about investing more in hardware last year. Google Tensor is probably similar to Samsung Exynos 2100 chips, an 8-core ARM processor. Despite using the 5 nanometer technology, like the latest Qualcomm Snapdragon 888, its expected performance is nearer to that of Qualcomm's last-generation Snapdragon 870. Moving from 7 nanometer to 5 nanometer gives about 10% more performance, while saving about 20% power consumption. This move allows Google to save money, offer their phones at a more competitive price, and direct more funding toward other critical aspects, such as their camera technologies. A portion of Whitechapel chips will also be dedicated to the always-on feature of Google's Assistant. Qualcomm older Snapdragon 865 chips, using the 7 nanometer technology, were manufactured by TSMC. Due to space constraint, their radio frequency modem chip X55 was set aside as an external chip. The latest Snapdragon 888 chips uses the 5 nanometer technology by Samsung, and they were able to include their X60 radio frequency modem chip into the SOC. Apple's A14 and M1 chips are in a class of their own. With the combination of their powerful Firestorm CPU cores and high-efficiency Ice Storm CPU cores, they are able to achieve a smooth experience while maintaining a long battery life. Their unified memory architecture UMA on a package further improves the data bandwidth and reduces latency. The M1 chips are currently beating the competition by a considerable margin. Leading in performance per watt. Most advanced chips, 7 nanometer or smaller, be it the Apple's M1, Qualcomm Snapdragon 888, or AMD's N5, are designed in the United States and manufactured by TSMC in Taiwan or Samsung in South Korea. Other foundries produce low end chips around 200 nanometers. Google is expected to compensate for their weaker hardware capability with smarter artificial intelligence software. Internet giants are increasingly making their own custom system on chip because they hope to achieve better vertical hardware to software integration. By doing so, Google is also expected to achieve more control over their software support for their hardware, extending it beyond the usual three years when using Qualcomm chips. The iPhone and Samsung typically provide software support around five to six years. Although the Android mobile operating system is a free and open source software licensed under the Apache license, most Android devices are shipped with proprietary software pre-installed, such as the Google mobile services. Applications such as Google Chrome and Google Play are critical for the user experience. Apple and Samsung sold about 200 and 235 million phones respectively in 2020. Google sold about 7 million units in the same year. Nonetheless, this is still a marked improvement from their 4.7 million units in 2018. Although Google Pixel has a small market share, it is considered a pure Google phone with the latest Google software innovation. In June of 2021, Google published an article in the journal Nature, claiming that their artificial intelligence software can design computer chips in less than six hours, compared to a few months by humans. The AI software can come up with a better floor plan for the chip, optimizing the placement for CPUs, GPUs, and memory on the silicon die. It considers the key metrics, such as power consumption, performance and chip area, using reinforcement learning. Google previously developed their Tensor application-specific integrated circuit, ASIC chips, with the help of their artificial intelligence software. 
Tensor Processing Units TPU were designed for Google's neural network machine learning software TensorFlow. By using the transfer learning technique, the users simply configure the top layers of the neural network, then train the model using relevant data. There is no need to retrain those complex neural nets. It is able to detect objects at high speed with great complexity. The tensor processing units are applied to Google Cloud for advanced machine learning. It has improved Google Translate, ranking Google Search, and allowed AlphaGo to beat one of the world's top Go player. Machine learning might be the future, but it will take some years before artificial intelligence software can design a state-of-the-art semiconductor independently.